Okay, good afternoon, colleagues. Uh, we're now in public session. Uh, just before we commence and go through the formalities, first things is the mobile phones. If you have a mobile phone, will you either switch it to flight mode or switch it off? Apart from interfering with the meeting, it affects the broadcast and recording. So if you have a phone, please turn it off. I wish to draw your attention to the fact that by virtue of Section 17.2L of the Defamation Act 2009, witnesses are protected by absolute privilege in respect of their evidence to this committee. However, if you're directed by the committee to cease giving evidence in relation to a particular matter, and you continue to so do, you're entitled thereafter only to a qualified privilege in respect of your evidence. You're directed that only evidence connected with the subject matter of these proceedings is to be given, and you're asked to respect the parliamentary practice to the effect that, where possible, you should not criticise nor make charges against any person, persons or entity by name, or in such a way as to make him, her or it identifiable. The opening statement submitted to the committee will be published on the committee website after the meeting, and members are reminded of the long-standing practice to the effect that they should not comment on, criticise or make charges against a person outside the House or an official either by name or in such a way as to make him or her identifiable. So good afternoon and I'd like to welcome the Association of Irish Local Government here this afternoon, represented by councillors John Crow, Pat Daly, Parik McNally, Michael Hurrigan, Pat Fitzpatrick and Dermot Lacey. You're all very welcome here. Uh, at the outset, I indicated that your submissions have been received and circulated amongst members. I propose that you might make an opening statement based on that submission and then I'll have questions from colleagues for you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Just before I start, we'd like to thank Brendan Ryan for uh, organising this uh, this afternoon. So, first of all, the Association of Li o Irish Local Government (AILG) is a statutory representative body representing the democratically elected members and our members' authority of local of Irish local government. The association supports the elected members in their role as board members of the local government units in the state. The AILG supports the establishment of the Oireachtas Committee on Housing and Homelessness. As our members believe that the country is, fa the country is facing the biggest housing homeless crisis in its history. The work of this committee is an important step in resolving the challenges facing those affected by this crisis. We note that the Minister has consulted with the Chief Executive of local authorities and not with elected members on this issue. In some ways that sums up the cause of the problem today. The department officials are not dealing with the people namely the elected members, who are dealing on a daily basis with those in housing distress. The association thanks the committee chairman and members for inviting us here to make our presentation and to brief the committee, committee on, a view of our local public, on the views of our local public representatives. Today we will set out what the local representatives believe we must be doing in order to provide access to appropriate social and affordable housing. We bring to the table the experience of elected members from, from whom housing related issues are the central concern in the work of a public representative. Uh, public representatives, we can safely state that currently no other local government issue generates so much of the councillor's workload as the case of housing. While this submission does not represent the full extent of our association housing policy, it does outline the key priorities which we believe should be um, included in the report of the com Committee on Housing and Homelessness that we will present to the Dáil over the coming weeks. Our submission contains rec recommendations that we believe need to be implemented in both the immediate and long term in order to address the housing and homelessness crisis currently facing our country. 
However, our key points that we will be making throughout our submission is that the role of local authorities as a housing authority in each city and county and, and as the lead provider of social housing throughout Ireland need to be reinforced in order to fully address the current crisis. However, we do of course not discard the role and contribution of other social and affordable housing providers. For more than a century, local authorities have successfully been the provider of social housing for the Irish population. Our local authorities have been, has a strong record of, achieve, of achieving in the housing area. Many in, independent commentators, including many contributors to this committee over the last number of weeks, have reiterated that the local authority should be the, pri the primary provider of social housing in the country. In the context of any housing policy, the experience and the capacity of the local authority as a housing authority needs to be underpinned and emphasised. We note that some commentators are calling to en enshrine the right to a home in our constitution by way of a referendum. We would like to point out that the local authority housing is the only current form of social housing that offers tenants the opportunity to buy out their houses and become, their own, become home owners. Home ownership is an inspiration that we believe should be afforded to all social housing tenants and to this end we welcome the new tenancy purchase scheme introduced earlier this year which will provide the opportunity for tenants to become home owners. We would like now to take some specified points regarding individual measures for recommendation that we would like the committee to consider and include in their final report to the Minister and the Oireachtas. Commenting on the National Local Authority Housing, I will call on Councillor Parry McNally. Thank you, President, and thank you, Chairman and Committee, for uh, inviting us here today. Uh, the AILG believes that the Committee on Housing and Homelessness should propose that local authorities embark on a more ambitious nationwide local authority house building programme to include both acquisitions and a new build programme. 